the monkey trade is typically what happens to 90% of the traders out there, especially retail traders. In this video, I'm going to show you how not to fall into the trap of the monkey trading. So I'll tell you what is the monkey trade. I'll show you how to identify it in the charts. And if you watch the video to the end, I would show you how not to fall in that trap. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, depending where you are in the world right now. Today is a bank holiday in Europe and um, and the US, so we're going to do something very light and fun today. My name is Anil Mango, and let's start. What is the monkey trade? Okay, there was this village, uh, and there were a lot of monkeys in the village. All the trees, it's a nice, very green village, tropical village. There were a lot of monkeys jumping around. Nobody cares about them. Nobody paid attention to it. They're just monkeys, like abundance of monkeys. People just go about living their lives. And one day, this guy drove up in a Mercedes, expensive suit, walk up to the closest bar he can find, which is probably the only bar in the village, and call everybody and say, hey, I would come back next week and I will buy monkeys for $10 a piece. And everybody's like, ah, that's crazy. Monkeys are always jumping around. You go catch them yourself. Why should we, you know, who's going to buy monkey for $10 when it's in abundance? Well, he came back the next week and only a few people, maybe two guys who had nothing better to do, caught some monkeys and sold it to him. And he bought it. He went away, said, I'm coming back next week and I will buy monkeys for $20 a piece. Well, that caught the attention of a lot of people and more people got involved. Like, yeah, serious, $20. He bought the last number 10. Let's go get some. Caught the monkey, sell it to him. He came back. He bought it. Promised them to come back next week and buy monkeys for $30 a piece. Now the entire village is interested. Everybody got interested in this monkey trade. Like, what's going on? Is this guy really serious? Is he going to come back? Is he going to buy? Well, most more people got involved and he came back and he bought the monkeys for $30 a piece. Now everybody in the village is talking about the monkeys, right? Hey, let's go catch monkeys and keep it. This guy might come back next week and buy. Of course, he came back the next week and he picked up monkeys at $50 a piece. Now the whole village is involved. People leaving their jobs, people borrowing money, everybody, you know, like, let's go get these monkeys. Let's go do money, you know, let's go do the monkey business. So everybody's catching monkey. The whole village is catching monkeys. He came back. He bought monkeys at $60 a piece. He promised them next week I'm coming back and I'm going to buy it at $90 a piece because there's less monkeys. Everybody catching monkeys. Monkeys got less. There's no more monkeys in the village. right? Just a few running around and everybody chasing after those few monkeys. So he's going to buy them at $90 a piece. Of course, they caught a few more monkeys remaining. The lucky people sold it for him for $90. The rest of the village is in distress. Like, what the hell is good we going to do now? So he said, okay, whatever monkey's remaining, it's $150 a piece. Everybody, the whole village is hunting for monkeys, but there is no monkeys. So everybody is like distressing, you know, the bar is full of people drinking, not knowing what to do. How the hell, look, $150 per monkey, man, wish I, you know, wish I'd caught the monkey when it's $10 and keep it. You know, hindsight is always a good trade. Two guys came in the bar. Two new guys came in the bar and said, why, why is everybody so sulky and sad? And, you know, like, what's going on in this village? And they're like, man, this guy is buying monkeys at 150, but there's no monkeys. They were like, you know, in our village where we, we live, we have I have a whole monkey farm. I can sell monkeys to you guys. They were like, yeah, yeah, I'll give you the $120 a piece. And, of course, everybody in the village bought monkey for them from them for $120 because they're going to be selling it at $150. And, you know, those who didn't have money, borrow money and bought. Those who had the house, mortgaged the house and bought monkeys. Well, and they're all waiting. I think you know what happened. The guy never turned up. And they're left with the monkeys at $120 a piece. So, what does the monkey trade teach you? Well, let's look at Bitcoin to show you how the monkey trade is on the chart. Think of when Bitcoin was here. Uh, close to zero. Nobody's interested in Bitcoin that much. A few enthusiasts, you know, having a few Bitcoin as pet. You'll catch a monkey and make it your pet, basically. 
you're not really thinking of Bitcoin as an investment, something that can bring you money. It's there. It's kind of new thing. People are interested. They look at it. They blah, blah, blah. Some people bought it. They use it to buy coffee, maybe whatever. It was fun. It was just there jumping around. And then come the guy in the village and said, you know what? I'll take monkey at this price. I'll buy some monkey from you at that price. A few people got interested. He said, well, I'll buy monkey at you at this price. A few more people got interested. And he decided, you know what? At this price, I'll buy some more monkeys. At this price here, I'll buy some more monkeys from you. There aren't a lot of monkeys remaining anymore. So guess what? The price skyrocketed. But guess what? Everybody see this and think, oh my God, I'm missing out on these monkeys. So you know what? I'm going to buy some monkeys here at this price. At this price. And at this price. This is you buying back monkeys. Just before the monkey's price went, boom, and you're left with the monkeys with you. Eventually, you're going to lose those monkeys, right? You're not going to keep them forever. You're going to lose them back into the wild, and you will cry a little for losing your money. And that's exactly what he wants, because when you do that, the monkey cycle continues. That's the cycle of trading. When you come back to this level, and you hit this bottom, and you hit this bottom, the monkey cycle continues. You notice something? Nobody's interested in Bitcoin. Nobody wants Bitcoin. Who the hell wants Bitcoin? Look what happened the last time to Bitcoin when I bought it at, at what? At 14,000, at 15,000, at 16,000, thinking it was going to go to 70,000. Or I know, 50,000 probably. What happened to you? You fall trapped to the monkey trade. So here are monkeys again, walking around freely, and nobody's interested. Until somebody said, hey, you know what? I can buy the monkeys for you at this price. And I'll buy some more monkeys at this price. And guess what? You're buying monkeys here now. Back to the monkey price again. So you're either keeping your monkeys or you dump your monkeys. Because guess what? You don't want to hold it. It's going to cost you to hold it. So you just let it go. And you think this is a trap. So you let it go. And the process repeats itself. We're going to buy some monkeys from you. We're going to buy some monkeys from you. I think you get the point. We're going to buy some monkeys from you. We're going to buy monkeys. And guess what? Everybody gets interested again because they remember what happens the last time here, right? This thing is going to skyrocket. So he bought some more monkeys at this price. And then, of course, it took off. These were the last monkeys he bought up. You are not left with monkeys, but the price took off. And you thought the last time, well, you you know, you learned your lesson, right? The last time it came to this price, you were like, oh, I know what happened when it came. They would drop, but he's buying. So you sold out your last bit, bits to him and you watch it go here. Well, guess what's happening at the top here now? You want monkeys. You're buying monkeys from him. It came here. You're buying more monkeys from him. It came here. You're buying more monkeys. Everybody's buying monkeys. Everybody wants monkeys now because monkeys is going where? As one guy told me at this point, 200,000. Go back and look at my webinar when it was at this one, the first time it broke the top. I have a webinar on YouTube, the first time the top was broken here, just before it broke the top. And guess what I was warning everybody about? As it comes to this top, it is going to come back to retest this low. Dump your Bitcoin or at least put a stop where you would like to exit should it fall. Well, guess what happens? It went up a little more. See, some people are buying here, so it went up a little more there. And one guy came on the YouTube and he made the comment. He says, this guy is the fool. He knows nothing what he's talking about. Don't listen to him. I sold my house and I'm buying Bitcoin. I repeat this like 10 times and I'll repeat it for the next 20 times to come because it's a lesson you should never forget. No one should forget that lesson. When it's at the top there, who is selling to you? If you want to buy Bitcoin and Bitcoin is at $65,000, the question you should ask yourself is who is selling Bitcoin to me at $65,000? If I believe it's going to go to $200,000, if the world believes it's going to go to $200,000, if the whole internet is booming with Bitcoin millionaires and they're all telling you it's going to $200,000, who is the fool that is selling to you at $65,000? Remember those guys in the bar? Who were those two fools selling them monkeys at $120 when they know that the price is $150 and more? 
They know that. They told them, the guy's going to come back and buy it at 150 So they were like, we're going to sell it at 120 You're still going to make $30 off the, the monkeys. So who was the two fools that were selling to them? The same fools who were selling to you when you wanted to buy at the top here. The fool who knew that it's coming back here and it's going lower. Guess what? Until you release that monkey, monkey back into the jungle, you notice there's a line here, until you release that monkey back into the jungle, he's not coming back. And then he's going to come back and he's going to buy some more. You're not interested? He's going to buy some more. It's going to go up a little more. You're not interested? He's going to buy some more. He's going to get you interested until it comes here. And then at the top here, he might even buy some more. Because now you would be scared. So he's going to buy some more to show you that it's going to 200K. And if you haven't learned the monkey lesson, you're going to fall trapped to the monkey trade. So here's the point. Remember, I promise you, if you stay to the end of this video, I am going to show you how to escape the monkey trap in the monkey trade. So here's, before I do that, very quick, give me a second to plug my live trading sessions, right? We do five sessions a day live. That's the minimum on a working day. Sometimes more depending whether they're news event, whether my traders are more active that day, whether a lot of things are moving. That is if, you're, if you join my group as a full-time member, what do you get when you join the group? You get training, six weeks of training. You get to trade with the best traders in the world, some of the best traders in the world, really good traders, successful traders. You get to be in the company of one of the best groups there is that exist. And I'm not just plugging in and saying it. When you, you will have access to see that for yourselves, right? You will get a chance to see it for yourselves, for free, by the way. So you get to trade with us live, daily five times a day and i mean live trades not me giving you signals not me telling you this is a nice trade not me telling you hey buy here put a stop here but me telling you this is a trade setup this is the entry this is where we're buying this is where we're going to put a stop and we will manage that trade as it goes which means if a trade does not go we will also show you how we exit that trade why we're exiting the trade there where we expect it to go next and now we're going to go the opposite side of the trade because sometimes we do exactly that we were in a buy, a couple hours after we were in a sell in the same trade. We might take break even or a small loss in the buy, but in the sell, we are making money, right? That is how we exit the possibility of a trade that is not going its way. That's called trade management. And if you do good trade management, you don't fall trapped to the monkey trade. So with that in mind, send me a Skype message. Let me type my Skype here. It's in it's in the description, but just in case you're too lazy to go in the description, here is it. It's M-A-N-G-A-L-457. Now, I don't have a website. The reason I don't have a website is I'm not selling you monkeys. I'm not in the sales business. Sales business is creating a website, promoting it, putting out a lot of medals, putting out certificates, putting out all kinds of BS to attract you covering up, making packages of platinum trades, making packages of this, telling you if you pay this, you're going to get 50% discount, you're getting 20% discount, you're getting this, you're getting that, we're going to give. I'm not in that business, so I don't have a website. I'm in the business of helping traders become successful. Now, if you want to become a successful trader, then you can join us as a group and we make you successful. We, we work towards making you a successful trader. We work towards your success. Now, would you become a successful trader? I don't know. I have no guarantee of that. That depends on you. Are you going to learn this stuff properly? Are you going to implement it properly? Are you going to trade regularly? There's a lot of there's a lot of factor. Becoming successful is an individual thing. We will teach you, we will guide you, we will help you to increase and to make your trading better. That is what we do. And we will do it on a daily basis. You will see us trade and you will see the traders who are making money in our group, how they trade. So you will get to trade with them. Now, are all the traders in the group successful? No. Some are, a lot of them are, at least 60% are. How they become successful? They use the same method and they implement it and they keep trading. It's a lot on how you implement. It's a lot of what trades you're picking for the day. It's a lot on how you manage those trades, right? 
there's a lot more. There's a lot of psychology to it. How how you manage trades, how, you know, what is your fear when you're trading? What scares you? You got a little profit, you take out a profit, you get a, a big loss and you're scared to close it. What's your what's your biggest problem in trading? All of that we identify and we see how to work around it. We give you methods how to work around it. That's when you're in a full-time member of the group. Now, you would say, well, I don't, I don't know if you guys really do all of that stuff. I don't know if you actually trade life. And I I totally agree with you. You should be skeptical and you should definitely ask those questions. So here is the deal. You can join us in our live trading twice daily for a nominal fee of $100 that will go towards paying for the course if you continue. So if you continue to, to stay with us and you would like to take the course, that money is counted as a course fee. And the two, the one month that you will have will be absolutely free. So one month, twice daily, you can join us. Twice daily, New York, London session. You join us for free. You watch how we trade. Now, you would have to pay a one a $100 towards the course. The live sessions are free. You're not going to pay for that. You're paying for the course, but you have to show us your intentions that you would like to join the group. Only then we decide, well, you're serious and you can join us. Otherwise, to that, we'll just have a whole lot of people in the room and there will be no actual thing happening. This is a group of serious traders. So for $100, you get access to twice daily for one month. If you joined last month, you would have two months. That promotion is over. Now you will have one month. And you're going to get access to see how we do it. And then you can make your mind up. That's all. You can make your mind. Hey, I like what they're doing. I want to stay and I want to take the course and I want to become a professional professional trader like them and I want to learn to do what they're doing. Or, no, nah, I really don't like this stuff and I'm not going to be doing it. So that's it. That's all you're going to be risking. You're still going to get a lot for that $100. You're going to be learning a lot for it. So whether or not you join is up to you, right? But basically that's what we offer. And like I said, I'm not in the sales business, so I'm not gonna be giving you 50% reduction. I'm not gonna be doing plat platinum and gold courses and basics course and pro course and join our super pro courses. We don't have that. We have a group where all the traders are being trade equally. We don't have basics and we don't have pro. Everybody is trading equally and having the same access to the same information because a pro trader or a basic trader or a platinum trader is trading the same charts. And he wants the basic knowledge, the same knowledge, so that you can follow it. Now, you may say your learning curves is a different point. Well, that is why we have 60% success. People have different points in their learning curves, but they will still need the same information to be successful. So you can, you can decide for yourself whether you want to be successful by joining us for a month and see what we do. That's the offer we are giving you. Once you completed the course, you will have lifetime complimentary access, which means for the rest of your life, you wouldn't have to pay for anything else. You would be with us. The only payment you would have to make is for the group we are in. We're using a platform for that group and it's $4 a month. That's all, $4 a month for that. That's all you would have to pay, $48 a year to use that platform. We're using the workplace platform and it's a paid one. Everybody paid for their own subscription on this platform. That's all. Nothing else for the rest of our life. Now, let me show you how to escape, as I promised that. So what, we, what you can do is very simple. If you understand that these cycles exist, and like I said, the monkey trade is more of a fun thing. These cycles really exist. The chart never moves in a straight line. It's always moving in cycles. And that's why it's called wave analysis. That's something I created, studying Elliott Wave and studying... Um, DAO theories, and so I came up with wave analysis. That's the new thing. You will find it a lot on the internet now. It's something I created. A lot of people are taking credit for it. One of my students even has the brazenness to tell people that he studied the market 20 years and came up with that. Another one said he taught me. Well, I guess that's the kind of quality of the people that exist, right? People will say that. But this is something I created, and I would challenge any one of them to come and meet me and tell me that, especially the ones who said they trained me. I would love to have a conversation with them. They will never do it. You tell them, I would personally come online and have a conversation with them and all of us together. Let's do a webinar together and see that. I would come here to let them prove that they taught me that or that they created it. And definitely they will not turn up. 
I am turning up, but they wouldn't. They will disappear. So when they tell you that, tell them, hey, you know what? This guy said he would like to talk to you about it. Anyway, let's move on. So here's the idea behind it. You get an impulse, you're going to get a correction, and you're going to get another impulse. This is the basis of wave analysis. You will find this on any given time frame. Now, after that, a number of things can happen. But one of the things that can happen is that you can come back here, make another consolidation, and go back this way. Now, you don't want to fall trap. Buying into at the top here, right? And watch it drop. Or buying here and watch it drop because you, don't under, you didn't understand that this was not going to go back up. And if I go in Bitcoin and show you how that would have happened, why when this came back to the top here, I was warning everybody. I was like, okay, you don't have to sell your Bitcoin, but you can say if Bitcoin dropped beyond this point, let's say you bought it here or you bought it here or you bought it here, wherever you bought, forget about where you bought. What if you had put a stop here that if it falls beyond this point, I'm out of it. You would have sold all your Bitcoin at this point here and you would have watched it drop. If it was going to go back up, you would get in that trade. I'll show you how that is done as well. But for that, you'll have to join the group or you'll have to join the installment program. You'll have to trade with us live and we show that every day. So here is the thing. You can buy here and you can buy here. And if you were in my group, my traders bought there and they bought there, but they know that when it gets to this point, you have to look for an exit strategy. Because at that point, the probability of it coming back to this level was like 95%. And that was exactly what I was telling traders. When it gets to this top, the probability of this coming back here is pretty high. It's really, really high. So when you come here, you may think, well, now we are going back up. The cycle has started and we're going to go back up. And let's assume that is true. This thing could go back up all the way back to the top here. It might even go higher. Although I believe we're just going to break this top, we're going to come back and retest the low here and then go. There's a reason for that because I'm looking for this to become a flat inside of this structure. Come back here and then go. Now that doesn't necessarily have to happen, but let's just go with the theory that, well, okay, this could go up. You would say, well, where should we buy here? Because right now my traders are not buying. Not as yet. There is no reason to buy this yet. Because if you look into the market, what you're seeing is that this still looks downside. Now the last trade on Friday that my traders took, and let me show you that, I can show you that trade is buying above this consolidation. As a matter of fact, not that one, this consolidation. But they would have closed their trade and put the entry above here. The first trade we made was this one, close it. And the reason to buy that is it wasn't really to go up to the top, it was just to break this top. That was a trade, this was your trade. Break that top with the possibility of it coming back here or going out. So if you're in my group, you would have to close that trade for a small profit already. What we were expecting is that this is going to come here and stay here for a while and then go out, right, in this consolidation, and then go out and up. So every time it comes to low, we're looking for a buy setup. We bought this one. We bought this one. That didn't go anywhere. We bought this one. We will expect this to come back here. You can sell if you want, if you're allowed to sell. If not, when it comes back, depends on your platform. We're in this sideways consolidation. And I think they're, my thought process, if they don't consolidate, if they consolidate there, you can buy again. If it doesn't, it comes back here. And then you look for buy setup again to go out. It might not go out. It might just come here and come here and come here and come here before they go. But you, every time it comes here, you can look for a buy setup. And I say setup. That's the difference with not getting trapped in the monkey trade. If you wait for the setups, you get the trade. If you're jumping in without the setups, you're going to be trapped and watch it keep dropping. And I can show you where you would have known that this thing is going to drop on the daily charts. If you were at the top there and you saw this, if you were at the top there and you saw this, that's enough time to exit. Remember I said it's going to make one, it's going to make two, and then it's going to make three. You knew that this thing was going to drop at least to this level or to some level beyond that point. And if you still like it, you can still buy it back here. You'll be buying it back at 60, at 60, some 61,000 instead of holding it at this point at 65,000. That's a 5,000 difference. If you still like it, there was no reason to buy it here, but if you still like it, that would have been your buy setup. See? 
where you could have probably bought back. Once we see this, I would say, well, you know what? Maybe there's a chance you can buy back here. See that low? You can buy back here. But when it comes here and it stops there, get it to break even. So when this drop, you would be out of that trade. Right? Now, all of this is hindsight. So it's not really valuable to you. What would be valuable to you is if you join and watch us do that live when there is no charge, when there is nothing happening, and I will show you that this is what you want to do. When nothing is happening and we're telling you this is what it would probably do. Now you start to see it, visualize it, and see that it really happens. Because this is the up move. And if we keep consolidating here, the chances are we're going to go out of this really sharp. And it will break this level. The 31, it might get to 35, 36. And from that point, start consolidating again. So right now, it's looking very much upside. Right? So the question is, where do you buy the top? No, you wait for it to come back here and then buy. You wait for it to come back here and then buy. You wait for it to come back here and then buy. You wait for it to come back. And who says it doesn't come back all the way here before you eventually get it? In that case, you wouldn't fall trapped to the to the monkey trade. You wouldn't be in it when it's dropping. You would be out of it. And then we'll buy from the bottom. We'll join the, the, the guy with the suit and the Mercedes who is buying when it's at the bottom. Now, that is easier said than done. Follow us and you will see us do it live. Have a great holiday. Enjoy yourself. It's a day off. It's nothing. I just want to make this light video so you have fun. So have fun. Enjoy it. Do what you want with it. Share it with friends. I think it's funny. The monkey trade is a funny thing. So you have some fun. Take it light. Do whatever you want with it again. And I would see all of you tomorrow. By the way, my weekly outlook is out. The serious one is out. Go watch it. Leave your comments. Thank you very much. Have a fun day. Bye.